Ladies and gentlemen, this is so much bigger than Drake or academics. And I think we all, yes, we, including me, kind of missed the point of this in the first listen. Now, I reacted to Kendrick Lamar's Watch the Party Die uh, when it dropped. I'm going to be doing a full lyrical breakdown of the whole song because I think we all missed the point of this song. If you watch my reaction, I started to catch it towards the end. As I up was uploading, I was like, I get it. So this is going to be a longer video. Tune in. Get your popcorn. Now, let me warn you, some of these... Um, Lyrics are going to be written wrong on screen because the person who read it kind of wrote wrong, but I'll tell you what the actual lyric is. And we're going to really break this down. Shout out to everybody who's going to watch this all the way to the end. Because this is an important song. This is so much bigger than the rap beats. And I'll tell you why. We're going to talk about all of it. We're going to break down the different themes and things that I caught. And maybe I'm wrong on something, but this is my interpretation. I think it's time to watch the party die. The shit that got too wicked to apologize. It's different, get them whacked and disqualified. We even kill the killers cause they like taking innocent lives. Burn a whole village, we start over. It's really that time, right? Okay, so uh, like I already said, there's gonna be lots of pausing. This is gonna be a full lyrical breakdown for the real hip hop head nerds out there, for the lyric, for people who really like to know what it says. Okay, so when he says. I think it's time to watch the party die. I caught in my first reaction that the party was a metaphor, but I thought the metaphor was about Drake and his side and what he represents. But it's not just Drake and his side. It is more what he represents, I guess. The party is a representation of hip-hop's vanity, hip-hop's obsession with the worst things, and hip-hop's obsession to always be constantly in the party mind state. So this is more than Drake. This is it's time to watch that end. And not end totally, but it's, a, it's time to watch the party. We partied enough. Let's get some content, some concepts, some soul back into it, some artistry. I think it's time to watch the party die. The shit that got too wicked to apologize. It's different, get them whacked and disqualified. We even kill the killers because they like taking innocent lives. He said it's basically gotten too deep to apologize at this time. He said we even kill the killers because they like taking innocent lives. When I first heard that, I was like, okay, maybe that's just like a shot at Drake. And he's just saying like we're taking innocent lives because the innocent kids or the innocent people that he's saying, which could be. But I also think it that's not supposed to be as metaphorical as I first heard it. I think he's dead saying this song is about all the bad parts Speaking to all the bad parts of hip hop and our culture in general. So he's almost saying, yeah, if let's not just make this a moment about Drake. Let's also get all the bad shit out of here. So I think he's really killing about the people. I mean, talking about the people like the the drill rappers the, the, who glorify killing, who during their drills will kill innocent people. And it's at the point, let's kill all of that. We kill the killers. They like taking innocent lives, right? So I think he's talking about the killer mind state in hip hop and not just gun bars or in your lyrics. Kendrick does that. He's talking about actually when it starts bleeding over into real life. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm breaking it down. Huh? They not like us. You see the powder blue hip hop is a sport t-shirt. Oh yeah, they in. Link is in the pinned comment. Go grab you one. I'm sending personal thank you videos, man. Go grab you one. Link is in the pinned comment. Get them whacked and disqualified. We even Basically kill them, get them out of here. Kill the killers because they like taking innocent lives. Burn a whole village, we start over. It's really that time, right? That is the thesis statement of this whole song. Killers because they like taking innocent lives. Burn. Burn the whole village, we start over. It's really that time. In my reaction, I said, man, Kendrick feels like Dr. Doom watching over a burnt village, a burnt landscape, spin spiraling a goblet. And, and sitting in a throne, speaking about and remaking things in his, in his, in his, the way, in his vision. That's what it feels like. And that is what he's saying. Maybe he's not saying his vision, but he's saying, let's burn it down and rebuild it. We've gotten too far off the railings, too far off the handles. And I agree. In a whole village, we start over. It's really that time. Why reason with these niggas if they can't see the future first? Why argue with these clowns if the circus is well at work? Just walk that man down. That'll do everyone a solid. It's love, but tough love sometimes got to result in violence. If okay, so that to me, what he's saying. Now that part is about Drake. This part, when he goes, when he says, 
why reason with these niggas if they can't see the future first, right? And then he follows it up with the next lyric. Why argue with these clowns if the circus is still at work? They're both saying the same thing, but he's saying, at what point do we stop trying to reason with these niggas to be better and we just start throwing them out? At what point? And I think he's saying we've gotten to the point where it's no longer about arguing. It's no longer about show niggas know right from wrong. Niggas just choose to push wrong. And like I said, we need a balance in hip hop. Hip hop is righteous and ratchet. So I don't ever want hip hop to be all one thing, whether that's righteous or ratchet. I need the experience, the human experience to be represented, which is all of that, right? The problem is we lean too much on this side to the point we have to start recorrecting. That's what he's saying. Well, it work. Just walk that man down. That this is about Drake. I just walked that man down. That'll do everyone a solid. He's saying, okay, get Drake out the way. That'll do everyone a solid. That'll do everyone a solid. It's love, but tough love. It's love. He said, I, I love. It's love, but it's tough love. I just, I need him to change and see what he did wrong. Sometimes gotta result in violence. If you parade in gluttony without giving truth to the youth, the graveyard is company. Just tell us what casket the truth. They part. Mm, you see how they wrote cats? <laughs> they didn't write casket right. Um, He's basically saying if you just give gluttony, if you just give things out without trying to get anything back, if you just feed negative things because that's what sells, then you got to go. That's what he said. Just tell us what casket the truth. Say party more than bitches. Tell me what are you working for? They glorify scamming. You get chipped over this credit card. And then this part too, I thought was just like a punch. Just like a, you get chipped over this credit card. But... He's saying more than that. Hold on. Bitches, tell me what are you working for? They there was an era in hip hop, and there was like the, tr I think, I can't remember all the rappers. Y'all could put some of them in the comment section. I think Baby Tron was kind of like a scam rapper. I don't think he's as much anymore. I think there's an artist named like Tree J or TJ something. If you know scam rap, you know scam, a lot, scam rap. And it's insane that there was a period in this culture where we kind of glorified that. We glorified stealing. We glorified people running scams on innocent people. And then Kendrick, just as a rapper, throws the punchline of, you'll get chipped over this credit card because most credit cards got chips now. And you'll get chipped. Is Getting chipped is a slang for getting chipped, nigga. And you'll get chipped over this credit card. So that goes back to saying just how great of a writer this nigga is. While telling this narrative, while keeping this emotion and building this story, the nigga's still throwing punches in there like, nigga, back up. Glorify scamming, you get chipped over this credit card. Influencers talk down because I'm not with the basic shit. But they don't hate me, they hate the man that I represent. And I literally, now obviously this is to act, this is to a lot, but this is more than just to act, it's to a lot of people. And I think the most important part, I think we got caught up on the influencers part to be like, ooh, who's he talking about? But the most important now is I'm not with the basic shit. They look at why they talk down on me. Not just because they talk down on me, because they talk down because I'm not with the basic shit, meaning that that's what they praise and elevate. We already eight minutes into it. We're breaking it down, bro. I told you. Talk down because I'm not with the basic shit, but they don't hate me. They hate the man that I represent. I don't got to break that down. The type of man that never did ride because I want a favor. Don't the man that, that resides in patience. So with the soul. I like that the man that resides in patience because if there's one thing kendra has been doing this whole battle, it's been patient, bro. It's been, it, it feels like Drake has just been, ah, ah, and the, the gun is empty. He's still click, click, ah, trying, trying to hit something. Kendrick is more like a sniper, screwing on the scope, checking the wind, gauging the distance, baka, one at a time. Said, the ones that lost it all and learned to learn from that the man that resides in patience so where the soldiers at the ones that lost it all and learned to learn from that a thirst for life head inside a book because he concerned with that so where the soldiers at the ones that lost a lot and learned to learn from that so basically he's saying where are the pe where's the vulnerability sometimes we've gotten too much of the machismo braggadocious where now being real is looked at like a flaw Right, I, one of my one of the reasons Central C is one of my favorite British rappers. If there's one thing that nigga is, it's vulnerable. He don't give a damn if he says something, and somebody about be like, "Oh, nigga, you sound like a simp," or "Oh, nigga, you sound weak as hell for that." He'll say it and make it sound cool. <laughs> like that's what I like. He's saying, "Where's that at?" And look at Central C. Central C isn't some like 
a, a patchouli oil Mother Teresa rapper? No, but it's just you can do both. You can do all of that. Head inside a book, cause he concerned with that Information that'll change his life Because he yearns for that Dedication, finding out what's right Cause he can earn from that I feel for the women that deal with the clown and nerd shit Can't blame them Today they ain't really got much to work with He's just talking about the relationships dynamics um, I'm not mad that women are the way they are Because there's a lot of clown niggas out there And this, the reason why this lands good Black Kendrick did this Is cause Kendrick just got off an album where he was dismantling himself breaking himself down and rebuilding himself up he was the most vulnerable let us know everything and some of the most scathing things about kendrick are on mr morale and the big steppers so it doesn't feel like somebody who's sitting on a high horse being like you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong no he just came off of a whole album talking about i'm wrong i'm wrong this is why i'm wrong so it makes it feel more like maybe he's found something and healed to a point where now he's trying to help us out the same way he was helped out if this was another rapper who wasn't as vulnerable who didn't just have a therapy session in his last album it would come off a little like you you kind of like the smell of your fart a little bit. But with this one, it comes like, no, I was a damaged person who found something. And now that I've found that, I want to share that with other people. Because Kendrick said a lot of these flaws he shared. If you remember Mr. Morale, the women, the gangsterism, that he's shared a lot of that. Not much to work with. How many bitches harder than a lot of you niggas will trade Harley y'all for the nip? I can't be proud of you niggas. Rest in peace to Big Nipsino Rose Clico. Rest in peace to, to the man who taught me about proud to pay. The man, I, I get emotional when I think of Nip. Mumfu got Nipsey tattooed on him. That should let you know how, how we ride for Nip. Like, rest in peace to Nip, bro. Only the good ones die is what it feels like. And then my baby, uh, how many females harder than a lot of you niggas? Feels like a call back to my baby mama harder than a lot of you niggas. It might not be, but in my rapper brain, I'm going to say it is. If I can't be proud of you niggas. God, give me life. Dear God, please give me peace. Dear God, please keep these lame niggas away from me. Dear God, keep me shining. The fuck do they really think? Pocket watching, you must be the police. God bless these words. Dear God, bless how I think. Dear God, draw the line. They trying to confuse them with me. Now, all of that is pretty, pretty self-explanatory, but please, God, draw the line and try to confuse them with me. I learned that one thing Kendrick has been doing this whole battle, his whole career, is been separating himself. This whole thing kind of, not this whole thing, but this section started with uh, F the big three, it's big me. I'm separating myself. I'm not like y'all. They not like us. That's the whole point is look at the separation. Don't start putting us all in the same bad because then what happens is you start blaming other people for things they don't agree with so like every rapper gets blamed for the worst rappers because it's rap culture not every rapper does the, the does the worst stuff but we all get blamed for it right so he say separate me for them so what they do don't interview me and ask me about so what are your thoughts? Do you think well, hip hop is too misogynistic and the reason you say that is because for all the dogs or some shit or some song you heard that was dog or women? No, I'm not that. That's what he's saying. Separate me. Dear God, please forgive me. You knowing how hard I tried. I think it's time for me to watch the party die. <laughs> and that's the most unhidden sound I've ever heard. <laughs> that's the most... That's when I knew he was a serial killer, was this sound. Time for me to watch the party die. <laughs> you only make that sound after a fresh body. You, that's the tears of, I just, I just took a man's life. <laughs> Get him gone, we go watch the party die. <laughs> Send him home, we go watch the party die. Breaking it down like this. I'm here. This is why they subscribe, baby. Yeah, I ain't one of those rappers. Just, I ain't one of them to react and just listen and go, oh, cool. Or try to pander. Nah, gang. I'm a rapper first, huh? My screwed up, reincarnated broccoli freestyle is dropping. Should be going, uh, uh, the, li the live should be going, the premiere should be coming up after in a little bit. But tomorrow should be dropping if nothing else drops. Stay tuned, bro. I can't wait till y'all hear that. Oh, I can't wait to go. 
I think it's time to watch the party die. Let's go. Street niggas and the corporate guys, the rappers that report the lies. I need their family. You see what he's saying? This is not just about Drake. He's going down a long list. And I feel like the reason I have to make this video was because I didn't want my other reaction to be the only thing that's up that to make it feel like I didn't fully get the point of this, because I do. I don't even usually do this, but this is one of those songs that you need to break down multiple times. You need to listen to multiple times. My reactions be my first reaction to it. So, And he's saying, yeah, all of these guys got to go. Street niggas, the corporate guy, guys, the niggas that report the lies. Cause and the corporate the guys, the rappers that report the lies. I need their families mortified. We can do life without them. Get their bodies organized. Tell me if you obliged. No more pillow talking, jump starting neighborhood wars. Dirty macking bitches because your spirit is insecure. The flag now, I think a lot of people took that as him talking about dudes, right? No more pillow talking, dirty macking, uh, start neighborhood wars, some something because you're insecure. I think he's both talking about men and women because let's keep let's keep it real, bro. Talking jump starting neighborhood. No more pillow talking, jump starting neighborhood wars. If you've ever been outside, if you didn't grow up completely on the internet, if you have outside interactions, then you can tell me. What are the, I said this on my live and everybody got it right. What are the two major factors in most beats, bro? I'm going to tell you right now. Money and women. So I think he's also talking to the women. He's saying. Obliged. No more pillow talking, talking jump starting jump neighborhood, neighborhood wars. Boy. Dirty Mac. Dirty Mac and bitches could be both men and women. It's both of y'all. Because there's a lot of people whose lives have been lost off dirty Mac. Off pillow talking. If you go back to some of these uh, these beefs and drill rap and stuff and you really start peeling the onion back, you realize some niggas have lost bodies over Kuntnu. Over the Kuntnu. Hmm? All my southerners should know what I'm saying. The Kuntnu. You feel me? Because your spirit is insecure. The flashy nigga with nasty decisions using money as a backbone. And the flashy nigga with... Uh, 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 with nasty decisions, using money as his backbone. Everybody took that as a shot at Drake, which it could be. The shoe fits. But I low-key feel like this is also, who else right now is a... Your spirit is insecure, the flashy nigga. Who is a flashy nigga with nasty decisions right now? With nasty decisions, using... That uses money as his backbone. Give me, just think real deep. Who right now could he possibly be talking about outside of I think it's also, there's some Diddy in there. I think he's talking about Diddy too. Like, and, and just a lot of people. Bro, this year has been the year of the fight for our souls. Not just in, and I'm not even religious. Not just in music in general. I don't know what type of Cthulhu Cat Williams is, but he clearly is Cthulhu, nigga. Money as a backbone. I want his head cracked before he's back home. The radio personality pushing propaganda for salary. Let me know when they turn up as a casualty. I want agony. You don't need that, that breaking down. He's saying exactly what it means. Assault and battery. I see him. I like the I like agony, assault and battery. Not only is he rapping, keeping a, a, a rapping crazy, keeping a dope narrative, I mean keeping a narrative going, spitting punchlines, storytelling, but he's also doing these. The way he's rhyming is so such at a high clip. Earth filled with people doing a lot, making humanity work. That's the thesis thing. I see a new earth, basically with new people trying to make shit work. Yeah. Filled with beautiful That's people what the point humanity of this song work. is. That's true. Right. Followers that follow up on popping mollies from the obvious degenerates the drug the drug to acknowledge the hope that we trying to spread. If I'm not as vote, then you need to bring his fucking head or film that shit in high res. We need to get rid of our obsession. Now, like I said, man, everything if in, done in moderation is okay. N not everything. You can't. I said on my live, you, niggas can't be doing just dog food, nigga. That's kind of crazy. But like I said, I'm not going to be one of the people who judge like, are you? Nah, 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 boy, I done. You feel me? Like, yeah, I done smoke that. I done. You feel me? I, nigga, I be high all the time. So it's not. That's not my point. Not to say like, weed is the same as all that. But I'm saying. We've gotten to a point in hip hop where it's not just like uh, pop a little something, ah, make sure it's clean, go to the club, ah, and then go home and uh, punish some yeeks. That's not what it is. It's getting, and then we the rest of the week we cool. It's addict culture now. It's addict culture, and it's getting to the point where it's 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 nasty. 
God, give me life. Dear God, please give me peace. Dear God. And so many people are dying. That's another thing that I feel like niggas aren't even talking about the fact that like we just lost Quan. We just lost Rich Homie Quan over what they're saying is a bad pill. That like Kendrick is saying this this type of stuff needs to be erased, bro. We would have people, there would be people that would be back right now if, if this wasn't glorified the way it was. I please keep this lane, nigga. I'm not saying Quan glorified because Quan a lot of times was saying don't do drugs. A lot. Don't wait for me. Dear God, keep me shining. The fuck do they really think? Pocket watching, you must be the police. God bless these words. Dear God, bless how I think. Dear God, draw the line. They trying to confuse them with me. Dear God, please forgive me. You knowing how hard I tried. I think it's time for me to watch the party die. Sometimes I wonder what Lecrae would do. Fuck these niggas up or show them just what prayer do. Yeah. I want to be in Just an ill ass bar. It's back to that bipolar. I choose violence. I don't know how to go. This whole song is bipolar. It's like praying to God for forgiveness because I just caught a body and I might have to catch some more. That's what it is. It's, uh, that's why I love Kendrick, bro. You get both the righteous and the ratchet. Pathetic, my heart like D1, but I will. Now, on my live, somebody says that they think that the lyric that he took out here after that D1 had something to do with King Von. And the more I analyze it, the more I hear the way that he said D1 and not one. If you hear it in the way he's rapping, King Von would make sense because whatever lyric it is, it has to be so egregious that he had to take it out. And after the battle we just witnessed after Meet the Grams, it can't just be some regular shit. It almost, and the person said they think it's the King Von because one, he passed away. And the reason why he left the YNW Melly one because YNW Melly was, the, was not the victim in that. So I think he might have said something about it. And then the more you say it, you go, no, that does rock because D1, the way he said D1, not D1, and King Vaughn rhyme very good. But some people said, uh, he, he said, I'll kill him and his son. But that doesn't really fit, like syllable wise, uh, unless you like stretch. But I, the King Vaughn one sounds like it makes sense. But if it's something like I'll do him like King Vaughn or re remove a demon like King Vaughn, I could be dead wrong, but that's what somebody said. And I, and I tend to be like, that makes a bit more sense because it fits both criteria that it's really pushing the line and it rhymes perfectly with what he's saying. Show him just what even the thing I'll kill him and his son, I don't think is he told <laughs> he told that nigga son that he, he wished he would die or his but he's you know what he was saying and meet the grams? Pray do. I wanna be empathetic, my heart like D1. But, but I was something, 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 something came on. It's time to get these devils out the way. Heavy wrong. metals on my sword. We settle hard disputes today. The ghetto Hollywood divorce. Say hello to your future fate. The culture bread with carnivores. You let them snack, they eat your face. The, the culture full with carnivores. The culture full of just opportunists. People who are waiting to... Ah! And if you give them the chance, they'll eat your face. It's time that we divorce some of the Hollywood's antics. The Hollywood divorce from this hip hop thing and we kind of get a little bit back to the essence. And I like how he's also saying like, cause Kendrick's not the type of person to be like, oh, I want everybody to be goddamn India Ari. He's not, no, he's nigga from, he loved gangster rap too. So that's why I'm saying we need both, man. We need both. My favorite rappers are the people who can do both, bro. Cause you'll catch me gun barring in a song and then you'll catch me speaking about what it is to be black and then you'll see, that's just the type of person that I push myself to be. And then I, I think that that's the type of artist that I am more akin to like to listen to. You know, I don't even be getting as vulnerable as I want to sometimes, but I like to cover most things except for like my personal life sometimes. But just wait for my Broccoli Reincarnated remix dropping in my states. The signatures is being forged. They wonder why I'm not enthused to drop. The more visible you get, the more your spiritual is tried. He's saying he's not dropping as much because he's protecting his peace. But uh, uh, drop, go on, drop, man. Go on, drop. We got you, gang. Go on, drop, bro. Your, your spirit will be protected. Niggas gonna always come for you because you was big, but niggas don't always come for everybody. Who, niggas, it, come on, bro. It's cynical to say I know these artists petrified the end result in jail by Jezebel, a drug that full of lies. I think he's also saying that there maybe he understands that rappers are afraid to step out and speak. He gets it. 
um, but the the consequences are worse. You know, the end result is jail by Jezebel. Like it's it's worse. And let's talk about the rhyme pattern of this one, like, cause I want to break this down too. Hold on. Track is cynical. Now remind, remember, he rhymes cynical, cause this as a rap nerd, as a rapper, I have to point this out. Remember cynical. Take cynical. Hold that there, right? To say I know these artists petrified. petrified. Cynical's over here, so now we're talking about petrified, right? Not the end result in jail by Jezebel the drug. The end result in jail, Jezebel, Jolton jail, Jezebel. So he's internally rhyming. Cynical's still here. Like, why'd you say cynical? Why you put cynical start here? Watch that. The full of lies, critical. And then he brings back cynical. Now he's rhyming cynical with critical with physical with bruh. This is immaculate rapping my nigga no my what? physical is tested all the time i'm pitiful sunken place soon as i'm questioning my pride critical, I'm seeing cynical it. pitiful with oh bruh ghost blacking out relapsing one third at a time i spend no feelings that ain't mine i'm in my feelings when i slide i mean a nigga. and he's saying i'm in my feelings when i slide he's like yeah i am emotional i am in my feelings so being like uh you just emotional you know what an emotion you know the nigga will kill you first is an emotional nigga I wonder what Lecrae would do. Terrace Martin said I'm mentally when layers true. I flood the market with my best regards and peach your dues. And so it's up if you ain't one of ours, it's bad news. If you ain't with us, you against us at this point. My nigga Jay Estrada said I gotta burn it down to build it up. The thesis of this whole thing, this is not about Drake. and Ke it, he, he gives a little of him, but this is way bigger than that. That confirmation real as fuck. It ain't too many real as us. Like confirmation real as F. Like I said, whoever wrote this, I don't know if their first language is English or if they just did like a uh, an AI quick scan of this because they <laughs> miss miswrote some of it but i know what he said looking into what i trust looking outside the kids live tomorrow because today the party just died and he's saying let's basically build a better environment for the kids bro they get to live because the party died and the party is not drake the party is all of the worst parts of our culture ladies and gentlemen if you watch this all the way to the end drop uh 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 uh, uh put break it down in the comment section so i know Thank you, guys. Make sure you go grab a day not like us. Uh, Hip Hop is a sport t-shirt. Link is in a pinned comment. And stay tuned for tomorrow. The live may be up uh, uh, already when you're watching this. Go drop a comment. I like. Go drop a thumbs up. Oh, I'm back on my rapper, bro. Yeah. <laughs>